if you are trying to burn a CD and you're finding that they will not burn or that it's giving you errors, it could likely be that your WAV files are not in the proper format. When you use Audacity, what you need to do is convert them to a proper format of 4100 uh, hertz with a 1411 kilobits per second sample rate. So we're going to look at some source files right here and if we click on them down below you'll see that these are 2116 um, which again if you tried to burn these to a, a tr true audio CD they're going to fail. So what we want to do is convert them and how we do that is we simply select the folder and we can just drag them into Audacity here. What that will do then is import all of those WAV files and what we like what I like to do down here is go to my source file I click on the window to show the actual source I right click and copy it because what we're going to want to do here now is now that it's imported all of the files let's double check this we want to make sure it's 44 100 sometimes it's 48 it will not burn to 41 11 kilobits when you're done so you want to set it to 44 100 and we're just kind of double checking it's uh, that's really the most important thing these are stereo files because you can see two tracks on each because this is multiple files in here what we're gonna do is do file save other export multiple if you just had one file you could just do export as wave we're gonna do export multiple this was the f we can ex right click paste to get the place where we want to export to and we want to do a wave Microsoft sign 16-bit not 32 it has to be this or it will not those WAV files will not burn to an, a CD usually the default settings are good uh, we want to overwrite existing files and we'll do an export this is where you can enter track and other information we're just going to use the defaults but you could add to this if you want this is just going to confirm each file name that we're picking and exporting. And once we're all done, it'll start to do all the work. It's doing one at a time here. And when we're done, we're going to look at the output folder. This will only take a second or two. We're going to just move it over here to show you. As you can see, this is the old one. Well, this is the new one at 1411. And that was the old one. So these are exactly the same, except it changed the bit rate and that's really about it so you can get rid of the old files or you can you know obviously export this to any folder you want but that's once you try to burn these WAV files of 1411 you will not have any trouble burning those if you want to then you can just close it you don't you can save a project if you want or not if you want to make have someone make professional looking CDs for you, you could try Trapstar. There's other companies out there, but Trapstar does offer CD, DVD, and USB manufacturing. So you can look at pricing for bulk quantity. You can look at some price comparisons. Trapstar is very competitive. Get your music or independent uh, musician, all your band merchandise CDs from here. Thank you for your time.